JavaScript is one of most adopted programming languages nowadays. And how more we develop software using this language, more important is to build software that we could perform automatic tests. And for this purpose, we could use some libraries as Mocha, for instance. And it's very important because there is nothing worse than we delivering one software to be utilized by users and some bug being detected um, in production. Or we could delay some kind of delivery because we have mid tests with failures we have not identified before. Then for this purpose, we are going to study in this video how to use Mocha, how simple it is to perform unit tests within a JavaScript project. So let's initiate creating one project from Node programming language and then using the Mocha library as a dependence to let the project prepare it to introduce new tests. So let's go. Here, following the basic instructions that is provided in the Mocha website, it's very simple to introduce Mocha in one existing project you have or to create a new project and add that since the beginning. So no problem if you already have one project and you would like to start for creating tests for that. What you have to do? Basically, within a node project, you have to install the Mocha dependence and then create one test directory. Then all tests that are going to be processed by the, the Mocha will be inside this folder. So here is one example of test it's going to be executed. So in this video, we are going to perform this very simple example exactly as it's described here. And then we are going to perform one more complex example using a real world test, like connecting in one MongoDB server and carrying documents there and verifying if this carry has worked or not. So let's start with that. So we need to create one node project and install this dependence. So here I have my Visual Studio, one empty folder, it's not a node project, and we are going to start from here. So since the very beginning, okay, we have here, so the, um, the console and with npm in it, we are going to create the node project. So just setting the default values for our options, for we do that fast. And then now we have the project created, we have here the package JSON created as well. Now we have the node project instantiated, we are going to install the dependence. You could return in the website and here you could just execute npm install mocha. Just copy that, take that to your um, project here and install that. Now one more dependence will be installed. So just wait that to be processed, it's very fast because it's a small, a small library. Okay, it's already done. Now we have to do the following. We need to, inside our project, okay, create a new folder, name it test. And, okay, this folder was created in the wrong place. Let me try to create here again. Okay, test, here it is. And here inside, we are going to include the test script. Okay, so let's go again to the web page. And here we have the test we write with Mocha. Let's take a look in this code as soon as we set that inside our file. In this case, it has utilized in the example the name test.js. The name should not have to be that, but we are going to utilize the same in this example. So just copy that and here inside your Visual Studio, you could create a new file, name that as test.js and then here just paste the code. What code we have here? So basically it requires the assert, that's a dependency the Mocha has introduced to us. And here it could group the tests. So here it's testing the arrays function. And more specifically here, it's saying inside the arrays function, it's testing the function index of. These names here could be any name, it's just a description to inform to the user what's being tested. But the real test is here inside these statements here. And here the assets like any another unit test. It's testing this operation and the expected result is this one. In this case, it has to return true because when you use index of and the value that we look for is not in, inside, that's the case here, it returns less one. Okay, minus one. 
Um, so now, how to test that? So that's a nice thing for Mocha. It's a standard um, test uh, library. So we could use the own NPM to test that. What you have to do, just go in the JSON in package JSON file. And here in the e scripts for tests, we just replace that to Mocha. Okay, it's important because now when we go in our terminal and write npm test, it's going to run the test we have defined in this folder test, not exactly this file, in this folder. Okay, it has executed the test, it has returned true, it has passed it. So just one test executed and this test has passed it. And I have said, it tests all scripts that, scripts that are inside this test folder. So we are going to experiment now one more complex example where we are going to introduce another test file here to test the MongoDB connection. So let's go to next step. Now the last test we are going to perform with Mocha. We are going to verify from Node.js program if the connection with MongoDB is working properly. What we're going to do is to connect in this company database and try to select documents from this employees collection. And here we have these two documents here and we're going to read that from Node.js. Going to our project, I have then here introduced already the source code. This source code is available to be downloaded below. You can take a look in the link for, for GitHub where you could, can download that. We have also videos we explain in details how MongoDB connection is done, so you could take a look at that later. But here basically we have the code that connects in the MongoDB um, database, we have installed previous the MongoDB dependence, and then here we connect in, in the MongoDB server, connect in the database, in the collection, and try to filter out documents that are inside this collection and, and return that as one array. Basically, we do that. Okay, and here we <clears throat> can export this class here to be utilized in another context. So here is just the MongoDB connection. But now how to test that? Then we could create another files here inside the, the test folder. Of course, we could perform the same test inside the same file, but it's not necessary. Your program will become um, big a lot of classes, a lot of dependencies. So make all tests in one single file, it's not necessarily nice because it could be hard to maintain later. So you could, for each class, for each model, you could then just create one separated test file for that. The important thing for Mocha is that all test files are inside this test directory. When we use any any test, it's going to look inside this directory, all tests that are prepared to be executed. So basically here we import our dependence, our class we would like to test. Here we import as well this assert dependence that's going to execute the Mocha testing. And basically instantiate one object from the class we are going to test. And then here I have prepared the call for this get our employees uh, method to take the documents from Mongo. And so it executes the method, field is variable. And now I'm going to verify if my MongoDB class, the get all employees method is working fine or not. It's retrieving one list of more than one, one document or not. Okay, if I have, if I would like to test more methods from my MongoDB class, I could introduce here as well. So how we go, is, we are going to be tested together. So now we call test that again, the same procedure. You can just come here and type npm test. Now instead of testing just the first script, okay, here we have one error, it cannot find this model, okay, just dot DAO MongoDB. It was because it was originally in another folder, I think. Let me just save that and try again. So let's clear this console. And then let's try again with npm test. And now it has executed properly. We have then executed the first test we have done before in this video. And now the second test where it has returned one list with more than one document. If you'd like just to see, to take a look if it has really worked or not, 
we could maybe here before uh, perform the assert we could just print in the console the document itself then you could see the mongodb connection really has worked you could just print that here like then here some kind of label like test mongo with comma and then now we could try to test again that with let me create here a new terminal and then again with npm test it's going to run again and here you can see the employees has returned and then the test has passed so here you have one example of performing tests that integrate with mongodb and we know if our node.js program is working integrated with mongodb server so what do you think about mocha is to test more difficult than another ones you have some favorite testing library for node.js or javascript please just write down in the comments if you would like to see more example about this this library some kind of demonstration together with another technologies you could also write down at the comments if you would like to test and execute the same code i have demonstrated here the link to the code in github is available as well here in the video description so thank you for watching and see you next time